Hi guys and welcome to episode 10 of Geography Explained Online. Today we're going to be doing a skill which is part of our topographic mapping called local relief. A local relief is kind of an e easier one. It's used a lot in stage 5, so 9 and 10 you use this a lot. Um, pretty easy to do, um, but there's a one trick that you need to remember because there's one trap people fall into to get it wrong. So we're going to explain what that is so you don't get it wrong. So we'll have a look at that. We'll also on the whiteboard show you how you can find local relief from a cross section as well as using a topographic map. So you'll be able to do it both ways. First of all, we'll show you a bit of a demonstration about what local relief actually is. All right, so let's See go outside. outside. Okay guys, so finding relief is just about what is the difference between the highest point and the lowest point in a particular line. So you're going to get given point A and point B, so they're two points you have to know about. Um, but then you're also going to be trying to find what is the difference between the highest point and the lowest point between the two points you're given. Sometimes the highest point is the starting point and the lowest point is the finishing point. So it's just where you start minus where you finish. But a lot of times there'll be a higher point and a lower point somewhere in between A and B that you've got to find the difference in. So we're going to do that now. So we've got a couple of points over here in the background. We're going to have a starting point, a high point, and a finishing point. The finishing point is the bin over there, and it will be the finishing point and the, and the lowest point at the same point. So I'm going to go over there. I'm going to walk between our starting point, and I'm going to say some stuff. So ready? Watch this. Okay. So that pole there is our starting point. That is one meter above sea level. Okay. So stay with me now. So you'll see the water bottle is now three meters, sorry, two meters above sea level. Sea level. So we start at the, the pole, point A, that's one meter above. Water bottle, two meters above. Bin, back to sea level. So we've got three different points. Start at one, go up to two, back down to zero. The difference isn't the starting point minus the finishing point. The difference there would be one. One, one is zero, the difference is one. It is our highest point of two, one is zero. So our local relief for that little walk would be two meters. Okay, so got that? So we're going to do some uh, proper examples now on the whiteboard, so follow me. Thanks for that, Mr. Sizio. So what we're going to do now is we've done our cross-section outside, and what I've come and done is actually draw that cross-section on our whiteboard. So as you can see here, we've got point A. So this is a point where Mr. Sizio started at the pole. And I've also put in point B. So this is a point where he finished at the bin. And what we can see here is we've got point A and point B. But the most important thing we need to find when we look at a cross section like this is actually the highest point and the lowest point between point A and point B. So as you can see, looking for the highest point, first of all, the highest point is actually up here. So this point here at two meters, and this is where Mr. Cizio had his drink bottle located. So this is our highest. And then point B down here, by chance, is our lowest point along this cross section. So point B, acts as our finishing point as well as our lowest point as well so now that we've worked out our highest point versus our lowest point we use a really simple formula which is local relief is equal to highest point minus lowest point so here all we need to do is two minus zero it's going to give us a local relief of two meters all right Susie is going to show you what that looks like on a map yeah i am take it away Sis. okay gs squad we're back at the board. So this is a pretty simple question from a past year 10 exam. We've got two points here. We've got a point there, which is 137 meters, that tree station. Tree station. And we've got another tree station down the bottom at 237. So 137 meters above sea level there, 237 meters above sea level there. So that's our starting and our finishing point. So just imagine we've got to do a local relief of a cross section between these two points. So that would look a straight line like that. Yeah, it's very straight, didn't even use a ruler. So if we we're going to walk from that point to that point, where's our highest point and where's our lowest point? Because that is what local relief is all about. Well, we start at 137. Here's our contour line here that's 100 meters, there's 50 meters. So the contour interval is 50, by the way. A little geo extra there. Um, but you can see we get down to a river, and that river is basically flowing into the sea, so we can pretty much guarantee that sea level. 
Sea level is, now stay with me here, zero meters above sea level. Sea level is zero. So 137, we go down to zero here. And then we're a bit of a flat area here, no contour lines. And then we start going up a bit of a hill. We've got 50, 100, 150 meters, 200. And there's 237. So nowhere on this map is higher than our finishing point of 237. So our starting point isn't really relevant because it's not the highest or the lowest. Our lowest point would be right here where we cross that stream and it's at zero meters above sea level. And then we end up here at 237. So how do we get local relief? Local relief is 237 minus zero equals, I know I'm not good at maths, but I'm pretty sure that is 237. The highest point minus the lowest point equals 237. That's the local relief. Don't fall into the trap because this will be a multiple choice answer to try and trick you of 137 minus 237 equals 100. I guarantee you that multiple choice answer will be part of your four options and it is wrong. It's a distractor, it's trying to trick you. That's the most common mistake to make with local relief. Don't fall into that trap. Thanks so much for watching guys. We hope that helped you to understand local relief a little bit better. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel as well as our Instagram at geography underscore explained underscore online. And you can find both of those things on these cards that we just got sent and we don't know who did it. This is legit. Yeah, like first little bit of merchandise for Joey's so, yeah, online. We, got some, got some we have no idea who made them, but we absolutely love them. They're so, so cool. Thank you. This was kind of crazy and weird and very exciting all at the same time. So whoever went out of their way to do that and on the back, look at that hat, right, important things here. Um, thank you so much. Does this mean we made it on YouTube? I think so. This, maybe it could be from Mark Zuckerberg. Probably. He doesn't own YouTube though. See you next week. Live out your dream, buddy. It's like, ready to zoom in. You know, zoom in usually means me, not you who made in my personal space. <laughs> 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 cool.